Hi everybody, I'm Marty, and let's set some ground rules here, okay? There are no rules. If you're forced to be here by your parents, I'm sorry. I didn't force you, so please, okay? Uh, if you wanna stay, stay. Maybe I have something I can offer you, I can tell you a little bit about what I've been involved with in my life, and maybe I can't, but I didn't force you here, so please, okay? All right? If you want to stay, stay. If you want to just sit back, you want to sit here, you want to go sit on a step, I don't care because it's for you to be comfortable. All right? And I'll just give you a little bit of what's happening in my life and some of my music. It'll take maybe 20 minutes, so if you don't want to spend more than, if you don't want to spend more than 10 minutes here, you can get up and leave also. So you're not offending me. Just make sure you know that this is very open and uh, let's work together on this, okay? It's very easy to sing for the adults, you know, they kind of like my music, you know. You don't know my music, of course, and uh, it's hard for me to sit here. If I was your age, I won't be sitting here, but let's see what we can get out of it, okay? First of all, in the late 1970s, I sang in the movie Friday the 13th. Does anybody know or seen or heard about the movies Friday the 13th? Okay, I live in New York City, or right real close City, and I was asked to sing in the movie and I got paid very good money to sing in that movie. Um, when I went to see the movie, it had, they had an auction. Uh, there were many movie companies there trying to buy it, okay? And I went to see the, the movie in New York. I just got paid to sing in it. I had no idea what it was about. And when I went to see it, I had front row seats and I was sitting there watching this movie and I was totally appalled. I was really furious because the movie made no sense. Anybody in here seen the movie, Friday the 13th? Okay. <laughs> Slowly the hands go up, they don't, <laughs> don't worry, your parents don't say anything. <laughs> um, and what happened was when I saw the movie, no plot, people being killed, I mean it was pretty horrible. So I told my friend who, who did the score to most of those movies, I said I really don't want to be involved anymore. But I really wasn't in my life converted to God. I was looking for fame and fortune. And I was offered a contract, big money, to start $330,000 a year. Now in America, that's very, very big money. And that's just to start. Within six months, I probably would have been making half a million dollars a year uh, singing uh, in Hollywood and uh, at all the resorts across the country. I gave it up. I didn't sign the contract, thank God, because the company was mafia-based. If you know anything about the mafia, if they take your life, they will own it for the rest of your life. If I would have signed that paper, they would have owned me. So thank God I didn't sign a contract. At the same time, I was looking into my religion. I was about 25 years old, and I was saying to myself, you know, uh, fame and fortune really is only going to last a few years. What do I have after that? So that's when Our Lady started to touch me, Our Blessed Mother, and Our Lord. I learned about my religion and went into this type of music. So what I'd like to do is start with a, uh, a song offered up as a prayer. I like to start little concerts with a prayer. And this is my version of the Our Father. It's probably very different than you ever heard the Our Father. Um, whether you like it or not, I, you know, that's up to you. But um, let's offer it up for, for God, okay? Let me, I have to run over here and put my tapes on, so excuse me, I'll be right back. Start in the name of the Father and the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our Father, But deliver us from all evil. Amen. The Our Father are the words given to us by Jesus when he was asked, How do we pray? So if you have no prayer on your lips, Always go to this prayer and just say in our Father. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Our Father. friend helping me. Next song is called um, The Pride. And uh, these lyrics are taken from the Bible. And the Bible's neat because it has some good stories. And I kind of like this because it reminds me of uh, somebody uh, that plays sports. Um, I used to sing the national anthem for the New York Knicks and the, the Nets. Do you watch NBA basketball here? They have it here. I used to do all the uh, national anthem for them, hockey teams in the United States. And it was fun singing in front of those people. And they're always striving to win something, win the championship. I think there's a rugby game today, is that correct? Big rugby games. And uh, I was watching cricket on television last night uh, for the first time. I thought that was awesome. Um, and everybody's striving to win. Well, in the Bible, it says to strive for the prize. Of course, we want to strive for money, fame, fortune, and everything else, win the game. But I think Jesus is telling us a little more. You can hit that. <laughs> sleep, poor guy. And uh, something more than what the prize we think of. Of course, Jesus, heaven. These words are right from the Bible, okay? I do not think of myself as reaching the finish line. I push Never turn back, don't think about what's behind. I'm racing, racing to grab the prize. With every breath, with every step I take, I seem to be getting closer. Nothing will stop me now as I race to capture my prize. I push on to what's ahead every day that I am alive. I'm racing, racing to grab the prize. With every breath, with every step I take, I seem to be getting closer.
intention is on the finish line. I pick myself up after I fall. Nothing will stop me, even all the endless pain, as I run toward the prize to which God called. In New York, they do this. Not me, the kids, I don't know. I'm too old, 38. I do not think of myself as reaching the finish line. I push on and never turn back. Don't think about what's behind. I'm racing, racing to grab the prize. With every breath, with every step I take, I seem to be getting closer, 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 closer. Don't stop. Let it just keep going to the next song, all right? Now, the next song is called God is the Treasure. The Pope came to Denver, Colorado uh, last summer. And um, in the stadium, it was cloudy and raining. And all of a sudden, the clouds started to dissipate. Blue sky and not one rainbow, but two rainbows appeared. So all the youth that were there, uh, anybody here, did, did you go? Anybody go to Denver? No. They were all excited because they didn't get a sign from the Pope or a priest or a person. They got a sign from God. Not one rainbow, but two. So this song kind of honors God and his rainbows, all right? It doesn't take luck. It doesn't take charms. It takes a lot of love to find it. It doesn't take magic. It doesn't take money. Try it. You won't mind it. Peace that you search for is not a pot of gold. There's only one answer. Follow the rainbow. You've got to move your feet and take a walk over the earth. You must go because God is the treasure. He's at the end of the rainbow. There's a dazzling path high above. And there's something you should know that God is the treasure he's at the end of the rainbow follow it follow it follow the rainbow follow it follow it follow the rainbow as the clouds clear through the mist a rainbow will appear you want to know what's at the end of the colors so clear well this peace that you search for is not a pot of gold. There's only one answer. Follow the rainbow. You've got to move your feet and take a walk over the earth. You must go, because God is a treasure. He's at the end of the rainbow. There's a dazzling path high above. And there's something you should know that God is a treasure. He's at the end of the rainbow. Follow it, follow it, follow the rainbow. Follow it, follow it, follow the rainbow. Uh, the echo, huh? Hello. See, you never grow old. Stay young at heart, you know? Hey. It's cool. Little solo here. This peace that you search for is not a pot of gold. There's only one answer. Follow the rainbow. You've got to move your feet and take a walk over the earth. You must go, because God is a treasure. He's at the end of the rainbow. There's a dazzling path high above. And there's something you should know that God is the treasure. He's at the end of the rainbow. Follow it, follow it, follow 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 the rainbow. You got to move your feet. Take a walk over the earth. You must go, because God 
He's the treasure. He's at the end of the rainbow. There's a dazzling path. It's high above. And there's something you should know that God, he's the treasure. He's at the end of the rainbow. You're too kind. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a school teacher. I teach seventh grade in a public school. Um, most of the ages that are in my class are anywhere from 12 to 16. The reason the range is so much because it's inner city. And in the inner city, we have a lot of drugs. We have a lot of problems. No family life. And um, it's pretty tough for the kids. So we try to give them as much love and as much education as possible. I also have a family. My wife, Five, I'm 38. My son Michael's 12 and my daughter Catherine's 10. And one night uh, my wife came home and she said, hey, we're going to have another baby. I said, oh, great. I had her son already. He was already one years old. And she said, um, yeah, um, the doctor just told me. And I said to her, I said, being a nurse, my wife's a nurse, I said, is the baby's heart beating before you even knew that you were with a child? And she said, yeah. I said, wow, that's an interesting point, that before the mother even knows that she's pregnant, the baby's heart is beating. So the question isn't, isn't, should we have a choice? Of course, you know what I'm talking about, right? Right to life or abortion. The question is, is it life? And yeah, it's answered scientifically and medically that the baby is really alive before the mother even knows she has the child in there. So we sat down, my wife and I, we wrote this song. This will be the last one I'll sing for you. It's called Heartbeat. And it's our version of telling the world that the baby's heart is beating, even before the mother even has a choice. Um, no, no, it's not that tape. Okay. When does the baby's heart begin to beat? When does this rhythmic action start? Feel the pumping, hear the sound so sweet. On the fetal chart, the baby grows before the mother knows that there's a tiny life within heartbeat. The baby's beat of life is there today. Heartbeat before the nine months up, that's all that they can say. It's just one sign, but it proves they're alive. Heartbeat. Heartbeat. And as their heartbeat taps a message out, we must hear and understand. That this child's only hope for life is if we lend a helping hand. The baby grows before the mother knows that there's a tiny life within heartbeat. The baby's beat of life is there today. Nine months up, it's all that they can say. It's just one sign, but it proves they're alive. Heartbeat. Heartbeat. Just think one day, way back, maybe 10, 14, 16, 18, 20 years ago, you were this big, maybe that big, and your heart was beating. Think of all those little babies now, right now. Mothers don't even know they're pregnant. Their hearts are beating. The baby grows before the mother knows that there's a tiny life within heartbeat. The baby's beat of life is there today. Heartbeat. Before the nine months of the 
that's all that they can say. It's just one sign, but it proves they're alive. Heartbeats. The baby's beat of life is there today. Heartbeats. Before the nine months up, that's all that they can say. It's just one sign, but it proves they're alive. Heartbeat. 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 Guys, you can't do a heartbeat. Hey, Lynn. Talk about heartbeat. Listen to this rain. Thank you. Heartbeat. You have a lot of these flash thunderstorms coming through like this? I mean, last night I woke up two or three times with this kind of rain. All the time here in New Zealand or just now, springtime? Is this spring or autumn? Oh, you're in autumn, yeah. That's, I'm in the spring back home. I'm going back to springtime. That's wild. Let's end with a prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. I'm going to offer this up for each and every one of you. That peace may enter your mind and in your heart and your soul. That whatever's troubling you, like this sound, may be lessened. And may peace in your family and friends for your intentions. Peace in Auckland, peace throughout the world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, dear Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Spirit.